in this video I got a lot to talk about I'm gonna be talking about the last of us multiplayer I did see the videos I've analyzed all ten of the pictures that came from the PlayStation blog as well as uh, more details on the free games we're getting this month for PlayStation Plus which are some big titles for the United States uh, so right now you're just seeing some gameplay from PlayStation home I just wanted to show you guys you can uh, be on the same bike now I mean you probably knew that you had bikes and and skateboards and rollerblades uh, with custom animations on PlayStation home but now you have bikes I'm pretty sure you guys knew you had pets too and uh, bikes and pets are free if you go to the acorn park and you do the missions and you accumulate 200 acorns uh, in currency you can use that currency to get a dog or you can get a bike and it is really free of charge because all you're doing is playing the mini games to get the currency so test that out when you got a chance um let's talk about these free games real quick and then i'm gonna get to the multiplayer of the last of us and what i liked about it okay um these free games uh for june and i believe the store is gonna be up updated today uh uh Dios X Human Revolution, if I pronounce that right, I don't know. I know the UK had that a while back for their PlayStation Plus, but it's cool that we're getting it, and it's free for PlayStation Plus members like myself. Uh, so I'm going to have a, probably a couple new episodes for the free with PlayStation Plus because um, not only that game, we're also getting Saints Row the Third, uh, which in a way I finished on co-op, but I didn't finish um, by myself. And it didn't register those uh, last couple of trophies, so that'd be cool. And like I said, the co-op was fucking fun. I love the co-op. I love the mayhem. So getting Saints Row the Third back is a plus because I still have all my game saves. Uh, so that's great. As far as the PS Vita is concerned for their free games, uh, they have Virtue's Last Reward. Um, I'm not really sure. Well, they're saying it's suspense and uh, a novel, a visual novel puzzle game. Uh, which I'm probably not going to download because I downloaded a demo and I really didn't understand it. And I'm not sure how many other people might understand it. But hey, it is free. The one game that I think a lot of people will probably going to like because it has more balance. And I'm going to like it because, once again, it's free. Um, is this game called Orc Attack. And I'm going to have some pictures showing up right now. Um, Orc Attack seems to be like um, a gauntlet style game. You know, like four player co-op, hack and slash um cartoony a little bit but v pretty nice graphics never really heard of it i'm not sure if it's brand new or if it's been on a playstation uh store or something but i uh, never really heard of orc attack at all on a ps vita so it might be a brand new title but it is free for playstation plus members so that's uh that's a plus also um as far as the um discounts are concerned there's a new game called let's fish for the ps vita it's a fish simulator like anime fish simulator uh the discount for that game is ten dollars uh so it makes the game ten dollars it comes out at 19.99 uh so getting a game for ten dollars is a big plus and you know i don't mind fishing you know you know fishing games with anime story you know i, I, I might pick that up uh as far as portal 2 is concerned the game for the ps3 the discounts put the game all the way down to nine dollars and fifty nine cents and that's for playstation plus members you get a discount other than that the regular price of the title is 15.99 which isn't bad either and um we're gonna go down to another uh big discount um the portal 2 add-on for uh, the motion control um the normal price is seven uh, 99 but the PlayStation Plus member discount price is 4.79 so you know that is a pretty good discount uh, so this is stuff you should look out for um, on the place uh, on the PlayStation Plus today I want it updates um, might not had all those pictures up but you know the link is in the description go to the PlayStation blog page page where you can see these PlayStation Plus updates um so all in all it's, it's great um i do have to cover the last of us um i saw the trailer as soon as it went out you know um a lot of people put it up on youtube i put it on my ps vita went to work analyzed it i analyzed the pictures on the spot and i knew what the game was gonna be more about and i saw the um when i saw the video after i analyzed the pictures in a video chat with uh, some friends you know they said I was already spot on when they saw the video. They was like, dude, you spot on. 
and I was like, damn, I, I, I didn't know I was that accurate just analyzing some pictures, but um, uh, I love the multiplayer. You know, it's it's a it's a more violence than Uncharted 3 uh, multiplayer, but it has some similar elements. I like the map that we got to see, the school map. That uh, excites me because, you know, I love detail. So having a school map and school buses, multiple school buses, you can go in and out, hide behind the seats, have a shootout in the school bus, and then you can go into school locker rooms and hallway up in the classrooms, you know, this, this is stuff that I, I like, you know, it's an open map, you know, yeah, you're going to have campers, but I love these brutal melees, I love that they added the, um, uh, make a, make any item on the go, I don't know what the particular name is, but I like that you can make any item on the go, you can gather up pieces around the map and make an item, somebody made a Molotov cocktail, and threw it at the enemy, you saw real burning effects, real fire effects on that, and this is a multiplayer, and I, I liked it, um, this is the first look that we got. It wasn't really official from Sony, but um, I can't wait to see what their little uh, their walkthroughs gonna be like, and they give us more insight on the customizations, which it seems that they really do have a lot. But I mean, why would you take customizations away when they gave it to us on Uncharted 3? Um, so I I can't wait to see more from the title. I'm planning to pick it up next Friday, um, so I'm gonna be doing that. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be a great title. I also do want to see if we can get any more details on the number of players. Uh, my guess would be some maps might be small and some might might be big. So you know we gotta see how that goes. Maybe it's gonna be a different amount of players for those small and bigger maps. So we're gonna have to see. And then you know the different match types. You know match types, class types, um, gun customizations. These are all things that clearly we're gonna have information on and and by the time the game comes out we got the rest of this week and basically the rest of next week so it's, you know combine that that's basically two weeks so you got a lot of time for the this year um the last bit of details for the last of us title which is the multiplayer and i'm glad that they took um such pride in um single player uh, many developers you know they know that you got outlived the single player so they you know, don't spend a lot of time on that, but Naughty Dog, they spent a lot of time telling us about the single player, and then they got to the multiplayer, you know, so I like how they did that. Um, so, okay, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this update video. Uh, I just thought that I should do one of these type of videos. I don't do them um, a lot, but this is, this is more live. Uh, than any of the other ones of me using a program and going through the websites because I was like it's some stuff I can't cover and then there's some stuff that I can so I'll see you guys later um, leave your feedback below